Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. I believe this is my painted miniatures uh, collection number five. This is my Warhammer 40k stuff I used to play with. Uh, I haven't got rid of it because when I was younger, I sold a ton, actually most of my painted miniatures to pay for things like college and to live and so forth. And uh, I had a few years in my life where uh, I was between jobs because there was a dot-com bus, so I had to sell a lot of stuff just to live. Uh, fortunately, those days are over and everything's okay now, but anyhow, uh, unless I become poor again, I'm not going to sell anything that I painted myself. I'll sell stuff that other people painted, but the stuff uh, I painted myself I'd rather keep because there's a lot of stuff I replaced that I had to sell when I was poor, so I don't want that to happen. But anyhow, this is a drop ship for Warhammer 40k. I used to use it to uh, drop a dreadnought onto the battlefield that had a uh, uh, multi-melt. I used to use it to destroy tanks and stuff. Paint job on this is alright, and inside it's got a little missile launcher. I actually uh, regret doing that. I should have put the machine gun in. It would have been less points. Here's a bunch of the infantry. I painted them in NATO four-color four camo. These are Space Marines here. Let me see if I can zoom in on this fellow. But I think they're pretty cool. I like the camouflage. I never liked in... Uh, Warhammer 40k. I mean, people have like Space Marine armies that are yellow and stuff. How, how does that? How how is that going to camouflage you if you're walking around wearing yellow paint on your armor or blue paint or red or something? I mean, unless you're on a planet that has yellow rocks or red rocks or blue rocks or something. But I don't know. I just figured this would work better the, with the terrain I had and stuff. Got some guys with missile launchers. This guy's pretty cool. This guy here has got a flamer. Here's a sergeant with a chain sword and a plasma pistol. What else do I got here? This guy's got a melt -a gun. Those are very nice. Good for destroying armor. And here's another one with a missile launcher. I stopped playing 40k because uh, I can't remember if this was 4th edition I was playing or 5th. I think it was 4th edition. But I, I really liked the rules. I mean, sure, they had a few issues, but I was having a good time. I had tons of books and so forth for all the different factions and stuff and then they went and changed the rules and all my books were no good anymore so I kind of got annoyed. Uh, another game I, uh, so I decided to stop playing. I didn't want to have to keep buying books every time they changed the rules. Another game I played, uh, Flames of War, uh, they changed the rules uh, several times while I was playing it so finally I said enough was enough and gave up on it. Here's another guy with a uh, melt -a gun. This guy's got a heavy bolter. Actually I got four guys here with heavy bolters and here's another one with a melt. I might sell this guy. Here's my scouts. These are cool. They're all most of them are snipers. He's got a sniper rifle and stuff. Yeah, these painted up fairly well. Yeah, another sniper. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. And I got some guys here with missile launchers. Those are cool. And here's the sniper uh, sergeants, or I'm using those as sergeants at least. What do we got here? Someone else painted this one. Uh, he's that, I forget his name, he's that uh, sniper superhero. At least I think, or did I paint this one? No, I think someone else did that. Uh, the base isn't matching. And here's the leader of the whole army, uh, Vulcan. Uh, looks like uh, some of his pieces are missing or something. I'll have to dig those up but if I it's been years since I played but if I remember correctly he uh, allowed you to uh, re-roll uh, anything we used a melta or a flamer so um, that really helped the army here's my terminators these are cool I got one unit that just got like uh, power fists those aren't that good that was my first unit of terminators and then I got smart and uh, I'll show you the other ones. Then I got 
thunder hammers and storm shields. These are very useful. I think I got another guy in here with uh, lightning claws. Oh, here's the the chaplain that's useful with the terminators. Is this the one with the lightning claws? Let's see. Yeah, here's the dude with the lightning claws. Looks like I never finished this base. That's a shame. What else do we got here? I think this is a Space Marine Lieutenant. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, these things, I'll say this about Games Workshop figures, even though they're expensive, they do paint up well. What else do we got here? Yeah, some more of the standard Terminators. Looks like I got uh, some Space Marines in here too. What are these guys about? Oh, this guy's got a Combi Melta. It's a melty gun with a uh, bolt gun underneath it. I think I made this Combi gun myself. I just uh, uh, took a bolt gun and put a uh, gun, put a, cut off a bolt gun and put it underneath. What's this here? Yeah, he's another guy with a Combi Melta. Paint job's not finished. There's a Space Marine Sergeant. I like the way the paint job turned out on him. I forget what this vehicle is called. Might be a, uh, can't remember the name, but never finished it. Here's a camoed Land Raider here. I called my uh, forces the uh, Alligators. What's this from? Hmm. That came off something. Have to figure that to figure out where that goes. This is mostly finished. It's a predator. Kind of cool. Here's my dreadnought. I like this guy. Not the best unit, but uh if you drop him at a drop pod right next to a tank, he'll come out and with his uh, multi melta and with Vulcan allowing the reroll, uh, pretty much that tank is history. But right after that, he's going to get destroyed. But here's a uh, thunder hammer, or, or not a, uh, a thunder cannon, I think it's called. These are homemade Razorbacks. I made this out of plastic card here. I happened to, someone happened to have some guns, and so I just made a turret out of uh, plastic card, or, and it just goes right on there. It's kind of cool. And here's his cupolas. And it says alligators on the front. Here's another homemade Razorback. Made this uh, turret out of plastic card too. Looks like it's coming apart. But, kind of cool. And you can take it off if you don't want to use it as a Razorback. I got another unit of thunder hammers and storm shields that uh, never finished painting. This must be some hero, I can't remember. Looks like that's part of the cannon. And here's a cupola I can put on uh, one of the vehicles. And some additional Space Marines. Alright, let's see what else we got. Speeder, I never finished painting this. This is one of these things where I got it painted up just enough where I could use it in the game. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll finish painting it later. I never did. I just kept using it in the game. But it's kind of cool. It's got a multi melt on it and a flamer. So that's useful when you're using Vulcan. And then these next things here, I didn't paint them, my friend painted them. I'll never get rid of these. Uh, my friend died when he was 40 out of nowhere from, uh, what was that, uh, leukemia. He was perfectly healthy one day, and the next day he had a headache that was so bad he had to go to the hospital, and a couple hours after he was at the hospital, he just dropped dead. He, uh, he had apparently had had, had leukemia for years and didn't know about it, and uh, it was at the stage where there wasn't really anything they could do for him, so he was dead within a few hours. It was horrible. 
I used to play uh, Warhammer 40k with him. He owned a game shop. Uh, he was a nice guy. This actually looks pretty good. I like this. So does this one. These right here, let me see if I can get these. I'm running out of room on the table. These are the books I haven't gotten rid of. I kept the Space Marine book. I used to have books for, I think, just about every faction from... Uh, this, this is the edition of rules I played here. This wasn't a bad set of rules. Um, forget what edition. This was fourth or fifth. And then I had a uh, Sisters of Battle Army. This was the book for that. Salt on Black Reach that came with that. And then Battle Missions. This is cool. Nice scenario book. Keeps the game interesting if you always have different scenarios to play. And it looks like all I got left in here is some dice and uh, all sorts of wacky templates. Anyhow, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.